Hello, welcome back. Today's video is going to be pretty short and I'm going to go over something that a lot of you may not know how to do and it's one of the most basic things you should be able to do before you put any sort of seed in the ground. I'm going to walk you through these three different types of seed packets and show you the information on them and what that information means and how to read it. Obviously, there are hundreds of seed companies all over, so this is not going to be representative of every single type of seed packet you have. But this is a pretty good cross-section of the types, because I've got the Burpee, which is in all sorts of big box stores all around. Whenever you go to one of those stores, you'll see an aisle full of these. It'll be kind of overwhelming. And same with this brand over here. And then this one is one of the mail order seeds that I have. And I'll show you the different ways that they're labeled and what it all means. So we'll start with this one. This is a pretty common one. It is Oregon Sugar Pod 2. It's one of my favorite vegetables and it's really easy to grow. So the top corner is the brand and this the yellow tells you what type of plant it is. And this in the white where it says Oregon Sugar Pod 2, that shows you the variety. And if you turn over on the back, you'll have quite a bit of information. So it tells you it's a vegetable, what it is, it gives you a short description. On the upper right side over here, that is probably the most important part. So this says full sun six plus hours. This means that this plant in order to grow needs full sun for at least six hours every single day in order to do its best. So that's the point where you look at your yard and you see the sunniest spot. You check and see if it gets six hours. If it does, then this will grow in that area. This is 68 days to harvest. That is a general guideline. Obviously with the weather, it can be more, it can be less, but that generally means that from when you put the seed in the ground, it'll be 68 days to the first fruit you'll pick off it and eat it. Over here are the instructions. So it tells you what type of soil, what type of sunlight, and when to sow it. And it also gives you the spacing and how much to cover it with. It tells you when the seedlings will emerge, so that is when to expect to see the first plants come out of the ground. In this case, it's 7 to 14 days, so what it's saying is don't panic if you don't see any plants two weeks after you put the seeds in the ground. And then this tells you how far apart to thin it and when to thin it. This map down here is also very important. All the colors indicate when to put these in the ground outdoors. So the upper part, that's the coldest part of the U.S. This means you can sow them outside from May through July. The green has two seasons. That means you can get two crops out of it, a spring crop and a fall crop. So for spring, you plant them in April through May. And then for fall, you plant them again in August. And it goes on down to the warmer parts of the U.S. So it gives you a general idea. All you have to do is look for your area of your state on the map, see what color it is, and then use that to judge when to put these in the ground. And if you're on the borderline, go, th go to the midpoint. Like if you're on the border between the light blue and the green, between May through July and April through May, I would plant it in May just to be safe. The bottom gives you when the seeds were harvested and made ready, what year they're ready for. So it says patch for 2021. That means that these were harvested in 2020 and made so that they are ready to plant this year. This is just a guideline so you know how old your seeds are. Seeds can last for many years if they're properly stored. So this is not an expiration date. It just tells you the date these seeds became available. And over here, it's got some just some regular information on the brand and then a warning. So yeah, that's a pretty basic. And most seed packets are going to have this information. Now, this packet right here is a little bit different. It's more it's a smaller company, so it has a really pretty picture of what the plant will look like. And if you go to the back side, it has different information. It does not have that map on the back. 
So you have to know a little bit more of your zone in order to figure out when you are able to plant these seeds. So on the top, it says how many seeds are in there, packed for 2021, sell by the end of the year. And that gives you more of the information and in planting instructions. Now on the side over here, it tells you how much sun and such you need for this one. Sorry, come on, focus. So this says sprouts in five to eight days. Ideal temp, 75 to 95 degrees. That means outside temp. So for this one, you want to wait probably until right up to 75 degrees before you put this in the ground. It tells you how deep to plant it, how far apart, and whether or not it's frost hardy. Now this one doesn't have the zone information, so this one you'd have to do some more research. But you can grow them um, by the temperature. So where it says ideal temp, you can look online and see roughly what time of year your average temperatures get to 75 degrees in order to find out when you can put these outside. So this one is for probably for a little bit more knowledgeable of a gardener, but once you get started with this guy and use these and get comfortable with them, then you can move on up to this type of seed company. And don't use that to discourage you from buying these. The website is going to have the information. You'll just have to do a little bit more research in order to use this brand to plant anything. And this one is a different brand brand that's also available in big box stores. I used it last year. It's a radish. It's one of the easiest plants to grow. If you've never grown anything before and you want something that grows fast and gives you a really quick payoff from planting to eating, I suggest starting with radishes. So in the back, it tells this in the front tells you what it is, what variety, early garlic, early early scarlet globe. This one's an older one, so. The packing date on this was packed for 2020, which means that these were grown in 2019. And this is similar to that other Baker Creek seed packet. It has the information, spacing, and such. This one also doesn't have much in the way of temperature guidelines. It just says so spring and or fall. But radishes are pretty hardy. So um, there's a wide range. You could put it in now outside and be okay. And it says, also describes the soil. So this is a different sort of seed packet. Um, still pretty basic. So I would suggest starting with something like this with more information and then later on moving down the line with fewer information to have the most success when you're at the store and you don't know where to start. So I hope this gives you a little bit of information on something you see in stores all the time and encourages you to go ahead and grab a seed packet and get started. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.